who gets it on to Ralph. Ralph from the boundary line puts it long up towards McKenzie. Can he take the grab? He has. So very quickly into the action, McKenzie, and he has a chance to bring up his first goal from his first kick of the match. That's the big thing about this young fellow, Pete. He's such a strong fellow. He can position himself well, and he holds ground very well as he did then. Now he's got a chance to kick uh, Carlton's seventh goal, and of course, young uh, McKenzie replacing uh, young uh, Stephen Silvani, which was a very unfortunate action, but uh, one of those things that happen in football. And let's hope that the kid's okay. Waiting now from uh, McKenzie from about uh, 20 metres out from goal. And there's no worries about that one. A little South Australian champ brings it to full forward. The lead has been made, a beautiful lead by yeah. Warren McKenzie. Now, is it a 15-metre penalty? Yes, it should I be. think it might be. Not a good play by Melbourne to give away a 15-metre penalty, which brings McKenzie into within about 20 metres of goal, and he shouldn't miss from there. The first score of the game going on the board now at the MCG on Sevens Big League, and it's a goal to Carlton. He goes into the forward pocket. Not a very good bounce. It goes out toward O'Keefe. He overruns. In fact, he might have even kicked it out on the full. The umpire said he had to come off his foot, so it's a free kick to Carlton. Warren McKenzie... In the first quarter, kicked two goals. He kicked, took two strong marks on Terry Bright for two goals. Now, this is where oh, he's a bit further out than where Ablett kicked his from. Oh, so it'll be a very, very hard. difficult kick right into the face of the breeze. It's a high ball. It floats. Oh, don't tell me. Has he kicked it? I think he has. Another magnificent goal seen in this game to Warren McKenzie. But here come the Blues through Road. Road looking up there for Ralph and McKenzie. And it's a good mark. I said it a moment ago, that is going to be a big problem for Geelong. I think they'll have to move Bright. McKenzie is just too big and strong and too tall for Terry Bright. And that's his second mark, and this could be his second goal. Warren McKenzie, only about 35 metres out from goal. On screen now, number 45 for Carlton. Should kick his second goal. Jack, they should move Bright to full back on uh, Ralph, in my opinion, and put Cleve onto uh, McKenzie. The ball on its way, it's supported by the teammates and Carlton now has two goals won. And has got it. He hooks it hard and high out towards the half forward line. Oh, that's a good mark. A very, very good mark taken by McKenzie running with the flight of the ball. A very difficult mark, but he took it. And we've seen two excellent marks so far early in this game. McKenzie, mark, that one. well, he's uh, only 35 to 40 metres out, almost directly in front. He'll have to kick it to the right-hand goalpost and swing it in with the breeze. I think this end may be a little bit uh, covered, Pete, from the breeze. On its way it is, and the umpire indicates a goal to Carlton. You can hear the roar of the crowd in the background. Paying it. What a ripple mark. Great mark to Little Murphy. That was a gutsy one as he drives it up there looking for Kernahan. He's got it. Now, oh. he's, now he's set playing as a go for a goal there. Glasgow over it goes to Bradley and Carlton bounce back again. It was a great bit of play on the part of